What's going on guys, welcome back. It is Mystery Box Monday, but there's no box. Hang on a second, how about we do this? Mystery Box Monday, let's get it going. Awesome. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, today is Micro Machine Day. I didn't know what to do for today's episode, so I thought I would just go through some very old uh, micro machines. I think this one opens, doesn't it? Yeah. This one's probably got some blue tack inside. Yep, there we go. It's a little bit of blue tack. But this is one of the uh, the old space shuttle micro machines. There we go. Little bits and pieces come off it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste time. There's too many to go through. Anyway, as you can see here, there's quite a few micro machines and. I love micro machines. When I was a little kid, these things like were the best. These were always in my pocket. Uh, there were originally a lot more of these, but I can't find them. Uh, don't know whether they were lost over the years through moving house and such like that. But this was available. So I thought we might just zoom in just a little bit. Let's get this camera moving around a little bit. I'll just have a quick look at my micro machine collection. So cool. Look at these things. How cool are they? Oh, that sparkly paint. If you remember micro machines, tell me in the comments below. There's too many here to go through. There's a whole bunch of Ferraris up the back there. And you've got some dragsters. Uh, these ones here, you can actually look through the little inside there. It's got a little scenery inside. So that's very cool. Here we have some micro micro machines. This one here is actually, I don't know what kind of car it is. I don't know if the camera will even focus. That's that small. It's like a little MX-5 or something like that. Not too sure, but these like micro, micro machines. Uh, here we have an off-road one. Here we have the same one, which is no longer off-road because I decided to unscrew the wheels and put it onto a Ferrari. So we've got an off-road Ferrari. That was awesome. I don't know how many of you people are actually interested in these. There's a little Porsche 959. But I think that they're just absolutely awesome. So let's keep going down with the camera. See, we have a few Porsches. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so I can get the photo. Some old hot rods. There's a uh, glow in the dark police car here that glows. Some old Corvettes. Very cool old Corvettes. There's another Corvette there. 57 Chevy Bel Air. Another old Corvette. Some Firebirds, some construction cars, and then if we can get down here, we have some race vehicles. Oop. This one here is kind of falling over. These ones here have got these giant wheels. These wheels are off a, uh, a different micro machine from back in the day. Uh, those are the same as these, it's just these have been, the spoilers were broken on them, so. Yeah, being a kid, wanted to get through them. You have a cool old Coca-Cola one. Really cool old Coca-Cola Corvette. So cool. Have a uh, Micro Machine stock car. Very sweet. That's very cool. Going along further. Have some more racing cars. And then we'll get up to the top here where the the cool stuff is. Oop, gotta lock the camera. Sorry about that, people. Here we have a uh, Lamborghini Countach. Was originally yellow, but got attacked. Got attacked by something. Bits and pieces coming off it. Who knows what happened there? We've even got some speedboats. Very cool. Here we have. Some opening features. You have the Mercedes Gullwing with opening parts, opening rear, 
gold wing doors are very cool and you can also open the engine so that is absolutely awesome there's a few more of these opening parts ones very cool old cars these ones open on the side I can't get my nail onto that they're so small there you go got one door open at least and the engine covers open on each side so that's very cool this one here is a very good one I'm not too, I'm not too sure what kind of car it is but it has all opening parts also and you got the little dicky seat just in the back here very very cool one of my all time favourite cars from my collection is this one here as well as the Goldwing Mercedes also have another old opening parts also it should open at the back too yep there you go close this one back up there you go you can see what kind of car it is now what else we got ah yes Trans Am so cool those are so small to focus on but this is also all opening opening parts opening features try and say opening features and opening parts at the same time you'll get opening farts and come on there we go so cool so many to go through so many to go through here's a, uh, a semi trailer it's a little bit damaged it, I don't recall what I actually had on the side it did have a sticker of some sort on there but got attacked and it has a uh, tilt cab so that's very cool red windows to kind of like Optimus Prime right down at the back here we have very cool fire engine this one also has opening doors if I can actually open one very cool so you'll have, to, you'll have to tell me in the comments what you think about these I can't open the other one other door because these are these are really really cool I really liked I really liked these when I was a little kid and to be honest I'm surprised that I even have this many left I even have some motorcycles micro machine motorcycles very cool there's another one and there's another one and there's another one and there's another one and just for the fun of it there's a snowmobile with a dude on it getting a little bit of sideways action look at him lean on that <laughs> all right we'll put that away and i'll just put those down there here we have some more boats really cool speed boats little tugboat have a coast guard and we have a slightly broken tank this is missing the actual cannon off the front but still cool nonetheless uh, we have some jets which is very cool we have a dude on a jet ski get this to focus very cool there should be a cyclist guy somewhere uh, maybe that's one of the hidden boxes where I can't find it there's a pretty cool looking helicopter and the stealth bomber this is awesome this stealth bomber plus the uh, the shuttle uh, came in the same packet plus there was also kind of like a Mars rover style thing in the same packaging in the same uh, set I think, it was a, I think it was actually a NASA set uh, this isn't actually a micro machine not too sure where this came from 
but it's still, it's a Goldwing Mercedes, it's only missing the grill off the front. But still, very cool. Let's say on the bottom, maybe. Monogram Toys. There you go. I kind of just threw all of my micro machines into the into the table here, which all the ones that I could find. This is so awesome. You may remember this little, I think it's a Mazda MX-5. This, that will become relevant when I do this. Uh, there you go. It's got its own little Corvette inside there. Very cool. Can't remember what this uh, set was called. But, yeah. To come with a secondary car inside it, that's awesome. I'm not too sure where the other car is for the red one. Obviously, obviously that one's also in a lost pile. What else haven't we looked through? Got a limousine. It's like a Lincoln Town Car or something like that. Not entirely sure. Uh, any of my... US friends would be able to tell me that. I can't read that, that's so small. And right, what else did I want to show you? Let's just have a look at some of these funny cars. Very cool. Let's move the camera down a little bit so you can see what I'm actually looking at. Very cool. Corvette. Very wild design. Uh, Neon Beach was this series, which came with uh, this car and this car I think that's Neon Beach yes and there's something else maybe this one no not that one oh, I'm not going to worry about it but how cool are these Look at the paint jobs on these but yes as I was saying I don't know how many of you are actually interested in these but I thought that they were very cool to see anyway. You have a nice shiny chrome Corvette. Very cool. It's probably because of these micro machines which is why I quite enjoy the the tuned series from Hot Wheels. Alright let's look at some Ferraris. Cool. Very cool. That's another Ferrari there. You can even see it even has a little, oh, it's not there anymore, but it would have had the logo there. Yes, they have kind of been beaten up over the years, but they've also been in a box for years, getting thrown around. Quick look at the back. Very cool. I'm knocking them all over. I made this display so nice and neat before I started this. I even actually planned it. Thought it was going to be cool. And then I realized just how many of these things there were. There was more than I thought. Very cool. And what else do we want to look at? What else do we want to look at? Yeah, have a look at that too. That's awesome. And uh, ah, here we go. It's like a little sand buggy, dune buggy thing. Very cool. I painted this with a red texture, a red marker. It was originally green, but I'm not a fan of green, so that had to go. And yeah, we'll just we'll wrap up the show with this little guy, and say, I hope you enjoyed this show. I know it's not exactly Hot Wheels. Oh, actually, actually, let's just, we can do some Hot Wheels. We can do some Hot Wheels. Alright, alright. Went to the flea market the other day, found some cool one dollar cars once again. Chrysler Crossfire concept thingy. Chrysler Firepower concept. Very cool. Here we have a Acura NSX in grey and red. Very, very cool. And then we have a Nissan 350Z in your sticker bomb style. Giant wang on the back. Very cool. I'll, I'll do like this little sticker bomb 
thing. I reckon that looks pretty cool. All right, what else we got? I'm just reaching down into the actual mystery box next to me. Uh, here we have the Purple Passion. I was going to save these up. Oh yeah, that's right, this has got two-piece wheels on it. Um, if anybody knows what set or why this has two-piece rims, please let me know because I, I saw it and I thought it was a super treasure hunt and then I realised the second I picked it up it wasn't. Uh, we have another bone shaker from the advent calendar, the 2019 advent calendar. If you haven't seen that, it is in my playlists. You can go back and have a look at that if you like, but this purple is awesome. Oh, no, I'm knocking everything over. Hang on, I'll be there in a sec. There we go. Here we have a Datsun 240Z in your awesome Datsun race livery. Very cool, very, very cool. Then we have a Toyota pickup, a very old Majorette. A bit of lumber in the back there. Nice suspension. Quick look at the base. Very cool. I know it's missing a piece, but that doesn't bother me. I don't mind. And here we have a very heavy, metal, metal, ultra hot Mercedes Benz 380 SEL with a bright yellow windscreen. Look at the glitter in that. Have a quick look at the base there for you. So cool. Very cool. And the last couple of cars that are here, I will go, I'll start with this one. Here we have a, it's a Hot Wheels slot car. You see on the base there, it's a slot car. Um, I don't have the slot machine, but it's magnetic. So I'm just gonna put this onto my refrigerator and have a very cool fridge magnet. Very, very cool. Put that there. Also have a black wall Baja bug. It's also very old. How old is this one? 1983. Wow, it's almost as old as me. Very cool. I wonder if that came with a windscreen. If you know if this came with a windscreen or not, let me know. Because I don't know. And the last car is an old Ertl Batmobile. Quick look at the base for you. Very cool. I now have three sizes of this car from Ertl. I have the uh, very small micro machine size, which is about yay big. I have one which is just a little bit larger. And now I have the medium size version. Not too sure what size this would be. It would probably be 155th, 155 scale possibly. But there you go, you guys lucked out today, didn't you? Not only did you get micro machines, but you got flea market finds. Awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up and call it quits and wish you all the best week. And until next week, I hope you find something cool to add to your collections and let me know what I need to be finding because it's been pretty slow. So have a great week and I'll see you all then. Bye.